Welcome to Guadalupe Mountains National Park. Let me show you around Pine Springs and the Pine Springs Campground. So this is the tent camping area here in Pine Springs. This is basically what all the sites are going to look like. Some may or may not have some sort of trees, but none of them have uh, complete shade. This one's got a good uh, tree covering the uh, picnic table. This is basically what the tent pads are going to look like. And uh, you're going to be fairly close to uh, other people. You can see a table there on the left. There's a tent right over there. So you have a little bit of privacy, uh, but you're definitely not way off by yourself. But uh, this is basically what it looks like. Really open, really sunny. Uh, when it's windy, you're going to get a lot of wind here. Uh, when it's hot, it's going to be really hot here. Um, not a very good place to uh, hang hammocks. I have seen pictures of people with their hammocks hung, but you got to get a certain site and uh, chances of that probably aren't that great because Pine Springs Campground does fill up pretty regularly. So you can't pull right up to your site. Um, they have these small parking areas where three or four cars will park and then there's uh, short trails to walk in to your campsites. This is one of the group campsites. Really not a whole lot to it. It says by reservation only. I do know whenever uh, the whole campground fills up, if there's no reservations, they'll sometimes allow people to camp back in here. But uh, basically not a lot to it. A few tables, a little bit bigger tent pad, and a smaller one there. And that's basically it. So I drove down to the other end of the tent sites. Um, as you can tell, they have a handicap site. I believe they have two of them. And then uh, they got a couple trash cans, water fountain. There are pit toilets down here at the very end. Some more sites right up this way. You might can tell that there are there is a uh, hammock hanging up over there. And uh, that's basically going to be your options for hanging a hammock on little small trees. Um, maybe not ideal distance apart. And then here are your views from the Pine Springs tent camping area. Not too bad of views. You will be able to hear some of the noise from the highway just a little bit. It's really not too bad. Overall, not, not a whole lot to this campground. But then again, it is only $8 a site, so it's fairly cheap and uh, pretty decent area to camp. Also, just a reminder, there are no charcoal or wood fires here. You can use camp stoves, and uh, that's pretty much it. So these are the main bathrooms here at Pine Springs Campground. Uh, they have a men and women's. Uh, right there in the middle is a place to fill your water bottle, and back behind it is a place to wash your dishes, which I'll show you here in a minute. Over this way, they have uh, some picnic tables back in there if you just stopping in for lunch. Right over here we have uh, your campground registration where you uh, register for your campsites, whether you're tent camping or RV camping. Uh, you're gonna fill out a registration form over here. Um, also, there's a place to fill up your water. And then uh, here's the parking for uh, hikers. And back behind that, that is the RV site. So I'm back behind the bathrooms now. And here is the dishwashing station. They got two sinks. Just pull that lever up over there to get a little more water. And uh, really cool that they have this here. Be able to wash your dishes if you're camping in the campground. So this is the RV area. Not a lot to it. Basically just a parking lot with parking spots. A few of them have picnic tables and uh, a little bit of shade, but mostly uh, no electricity, no hookups just out here in the sun. Here's the main trailhead and pretty much all the trails run out that way right there. You can register before you take off for your hike right there and uh, weigh your pack. Here's the spot where the campground host normally stays. I guess they don't have one right now, uh, but it's just prior to entering the campground. They do have a small amphitheater, although I've camped out here a bunch and I've never once seen them have a nighttime program, but I'm sure they do at some point. Here's the small amphitheater they have. They can do small programs. I'm assuming they have a some sort of projector or something in there. Really not a whole lot to it. I'm sure they do ranger talks out here from time to time. 
So you can take a short walking trail over here, or I would suggest riding a bike or driving your car over to the visitor center. Um, it is, the trail will be all out in the sun. And uh, yeah, a pretty decent visitor center for here. 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. They are on mountain time here. It's really confusing because uh, it's right on the dividing line of central time and mountain time. So uh, I suggest swapping your phones over to uh, where they stay on a certain time because your phones may swap back and forth between times and gets really confusing what time it actually is out here. They have a short nature trail right over there lead to the uh, ruins of the Pinery, part of the Butterfield Mail Route. A lot of interpretive uh, signs for you to read and go take a look inside. This is part of the Interpretive Center. A lot of neat information about the wildlife out here, about uh, the park itself. Really cool area, a lot of cool stuff for kids to look at.